everyone, and welcome to another moto vlog. Great day for a ride today. It's sunny and about 90 degrees. Something ha that has been far few and between lately in Northern Illinois. Anyways, today I wanted to address a subject that was brought up by an email I received the other day. The email asked, is it true that independent bikers are considered at the bottom of the food chain in the biker world. I was listening to someone and they were given a video live on a group and this is what they were saying. I would like to get your opinion on the matter. And this was from Jeremy. So thanks Jeremy for the email. And what I have to say Jeremy is, I think whoever was given that bullshit information is full of crap. Someone who thinks because people wear a patch are better than those who don't, personally, and I'll be totally honest, what the hell does wearing a patch make someone better than someone else? Now, if they are claiming that independents are at the bottom because of some street type of activity, again, they are full of crap. I know a lot of independents who do ride that have more gangster in them than any of the bigger clubs combined. They have the money and the power. They have the cops paid off and judges on the payroll. Not to mention <laughs> the politicians licking their boots. I'll take it a step forward and be very blunt here. When you hear of street activity happening, and this might come to a surprise to most, it's the independents supplying the product to the clubs. Well, at least those who are involved in the crap anyways. True story. Anyone saying different is full of crap and don't know what the hell they are talking about. That's just one example of how much of a BS statement that is. But let's go further. Independents are the biker scene. Club members are the minority within the scene. Motorcycle clubs do not make up the majority. It's always been that way and it's always gonna be. Last week I did a moto vlog on why motorcycle clubs are losing support among independents. If you've not seen that one, I say go over there and take a look. In it, I'm being as honest as I am here. The statement, independent bikers are at the bottom of the... What kind of crap is that? Did they do mention it's independent bikers who actually provide most of the income for motorcycle clubs as supporters? You know, buying shirts, hats, and attending the parties? If it wasn't for independent biker support, a lot of motorcycle clubs would be having a hell of a time making the clubhouse rent. My suggestion to any independent biker out there who is treated as a second class citizen by any motorcycle club is to walk away and donate your money to someone who cares. Just because someone has a patch doesn't make them better than you. They put their pants on just like you. Personally, I don't think a majority of clubs think of independence the way whoever went around saying that crap because again they know how important independent bikers are so they sure to hell wouldn't be going around burning bridges or quite literally biting the hand that, that feeds them and I know the last two moto vlogs it seems like I'm being critical of motorcycle clubs again I believe I'm presenting both sides of the argument especially when it comes to putting down a BS argument, independents are the bottom of the food chain. If y'all haven't noticed, clubs are losing a ton of support right now. Yes, the reasons vary, but one of the main reasons are people don't look at motorcycle clubs as being a necessity to be a part of. Most people find it easier just to ride with a bunch of friends joining a motorcycle rights organization or even a riding club. Joining these types of groups, people don't have to deal with the politics or a rigid, rigid set of bylaws. I'm one of those people who fall into that category. 
I even went into my reasons for being an independent on the last moto blog. And I'll even add one more reason here in this video. I make more money as an independent than I ever made while I was a club member. Actually, I lost money being a part of a motorcycle club. Now, being an editor for Insane Throttle and host of Motorcycle Madhouse, there is no way in hell I would join a club because it would take away my independence for reporting balance on all clubs. I actually feel sorry for those who are in motorcycle clubs trying to be a content creator because I know they are catching hell from the clubs every time they do something. They always fall under the thumb of what their brothers think and cannot be totally honest with their audience out of fear of what the club might say. So even though I'm a big motorcycle club rights advocate, I'm not one who wants to be a part of one. The negatives for me personally outweigh the positives. Again, even though I've received many offers, I'm happy where I'm at in life and being an independent fits me in my situation. So don't take some statement from an idiot to heart. More than likely, they're not even a member of a club and just seek attention. That's what most of those trolls do on the internet. They seek attention. Anyways, one more question I got was from Paul. Hey Hollywood, you always say join a motorcycle rights organization. I get that. But can you give your thoughts on what might be good for a writing group to check out? So, writing clubs I would support or might even be a part of. Worst one would have to be the Moose Riders. They are members of the Loyal Order of Moose and support Moose Heart and Moose Haven. Moose Heart is an orphanage in Illinois and Moose Haven is a retirement facility in Florida. Moose members belong to lodges and are a great fraternity to be a part of. That's the first one and the second one I believe I'd probably have recommend people look into is uh, Whittle Sons uh, Motorcycle Association. That's a group uh, made up of Masons and I believe you have to be a master mason to join them but the masons do a bunch of great work and we all know they have a long history of brotherhood finally I would have to say the Odd Fellows and they might have a uh, riding association again you would have to be a member of the Odd Fellows before uh, joining that riding association all three of these fraternities offer a whole lot more than just being a riding group. All of them do a lot of charity work and help out their local communities. You can find out more information on them just by looking them up on the net. And these are just my personal recommendations by the way. They do not reflect the stance of Insane Throttle. Oh, don't take offense if your group wasn't listed because there are a ton of great groups. I just had enough time to list three that came to mind. Uh, the final issue I'd like to discuss, Facebook and other platforms are hitting us pretty hard. A lot of our material isn't being shown to our followers. This has become an issue for a lot of those that follow us. First, on Facebook, you have to go to the notifications and click that if you want updates. Problem with this is we don't know if you'll receive uh, the notifications because how these platforms have gone all out not letting people view the creator's content. So I'm asking everyone to jump on our Twitter account at Insane Throttle and follow us there as well. We know so far Twitter has been showing our posts to everyone on the list. Now warn you, I'm not too versed on Twitter and still learning, but just like our YouTube community chat. I would like to get that going over there too on Twitter. These two platforms as far as chat access make it easier for me to communicate with people one on one. I receive so many emails each day it's really tough for me to keep up and get back with everyone in writing. The links for all our social media accounts are listed in the description box. Uh, one last thing, the radio podcast is blown up huge in the last year. People love it because they can bring us along for a ride or listen to a show when they like when they're on their phones. 
So go over to Spotify and all you have to do is put Motorcycle Madhouse in the search bar and you can hit the follow button. Many don't realize I'm actually recording the radio show when you see me do these lives. This is because we are primarily a radio show. Adding the video is just a bonus for our followers and people are able to chat with each other while the taping happens. So, hopefully you enjoyed the ride and uh, I'll see you all guys on the road. You guys be careful. <laughs>